Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy T-Link Tim from 1994 Honda Civic Si. Today I'm going to show you how to wire up VTEC on cars that you've done a mini-me swap to and or non-VTEC uh, wiring harnesses. This works for 92 to 95 Civic, I'm not sure about 96 to 98. Um, so, this is going to be on the D15 B7 block with the Z6 head which is also known as the mini-me swap. I use the Z6 head because it's the one I had, but, alright, so say, alright, so you got your VTEC solenoid, and, uh, let's say someone idiotically cut the wire off, so you got this green wire, and you look over next to it, and there's a black wire, and a blue with a black stripe wire, and you're like, well, what, what do I do, do I, oh, I could put an RPM activated switch on it. Or, or run one of those Apexy VTEC controller blada bladas. You could do that. Now the reason I don't want to do that is because you want this stuff going into the ECU strictly because fuel and air ratios and proper timing and all that other stuff is mo monitored by the ECU so you'd want to use the ECU. I'm going to show you the easiest, most simple, proper way of doing that. So start off if you've somebody's hacked off your harness, um, go ahead and put a female connector on the green wire. Put a female connector on the blue with the black wire. This is your VTEC solenoid uh, power source. This is your VTEC solenoid pressure switch. This is just a ground wire. But connect to the ground wire. I ground in mine to the thermostat where other stuff's grounded at, so it's I knew it'd be a good ground. Um, run you length of wire. I labeled mine blue for pressure because the wire is blue and red for power for the VTEC solenoid so you could do the same. Um, get you a length of wire. I used 18 gauge. Um, it's a little thicker than uh, what actually comes on it but uh, it'll be alright. Um, don't hook it up yet but run your wire into your cabin I went down, see where the wires are going in? You pull that little plug out there, you can uh, run the wires through there, through your firewall, pull your carpet up, you have to pull your carpet up, anyway, you access your ECU. Now, take your four 10 millimeter bolts out of your ECU compartment, which is located right here, save your bolts, of course. I left mine in there, because I'm a genius. Um, you'll pull out and you'll have your ECU. Make sure you have the VTEC ECU. P28. And see the AO2? If it says AO5 or above, it's an automatic ECU. You'll have to dig into the ECU and uh, desolder B17 and resolder B18 to something else. It's a pain in the ass, so try to get the 5-speed ECU, especially if you're, you know, 5-speed. So, you got your ECU. So, you're right here at the plugs, and you're like, okay, well, what the hell you got? You got a, a big plug, a little plug, and then a medium-sized plug. Unplug all those. <clears throat> You look at your plug like this there's this little swing cover what you do is you take a little tiny little flathead screwdriver and carefully pry that down and it'll pop and you just pull it out your way now to get the pins you'll need another harness like this you'll need these three you don't need the, the middle one it's not used but it's a good idea to just to if you go to a junkyard just cut it, although the next guy's going to be really mad because he's going to want these connectors to cut it, and then what you do, <coughs> once you get it, pop those two off, there's one at the top too, so pop it off. To get the pins out, take your same screwdriver, and you want to stick the screwdriver into the hole, this way. So get one that's like real, if it's, if it's too big to fit in there comfortably, uh, grind it down a little bit. These little screwdrivers are cheap and it doesn't matter if you, you know, grind it down. You grind it down on a bench grinder or your angle grinder or whatever and use it. Push it real hard. You'll hear it snap. You'll hear it pop. It's like pop. And then the pin will come out. Pull the pin out. You know, the pins on the bigger one are bigger. Okay. 
uh, the ones on this one are a hair smaller. They look like this. The other ones are big. They look like this. Okay, so to uh, see the difference, I'll put them side by side so you can see. See the difference? So the bigger one is going to go toward the bigger one. The smaller one is going to go toward the medium sized plug. Um, I already, I accidentally snapped it in already. Anyway, your, uh, the VTEC power source is A6. N yeah, A6. It's on the bottom. It's the second on the bottom. So one, which is this yellow wire, and two. Pull this down, this part. Butt connect your wire that you ran. Make sure it's good. You go tape it and all that other good stuff. And then you'll see... Let me show you. See the little nubby? Let me see if I can get this to where y'all can see this. You're not going to do it, are you? I can't get it in the right position. There's a nub. See the little metal nub all the way to the left? That is going to go up. It's going to go in to the pin that way, not upside down. You see what I'm talking about? It's going to go up. It's going to go into the pin like that. Okay? Push it in there. You'll hear it snap. And then that's your uh, your VTEC uh, wire. Close your cover back up. Now on to this one. This one's the same thing. Except the one that you're looking for is on the bottom as well. It's the third over. So you have one two, and this empty hole next to it is three. See that hole that's right there? That is three. That is the D4 pin, and that is for your pressure, uh, your VTEC pressure solenoid, or, uh, sensor. And, uh, I think this top blue one's your knock sensor? Or it's this blue one. I'm not, I don't remember what the diagram said. Anyway, same thing. Pop, pop the top off. Connect your butt connector with your piece of wire and run it into, same drill, run it into that third from the bottom, from the going from left to right, third from the bottom, and push it in there. And now your VTEC will work correctly with the ECU. And that is how you do that. Um, it's the proper way to do it. If you have a, if you're lucky enough to have a 92 Civic, they're already wired for VTEC, whether it's uh, CX or VX. <clears throat> this only works on 92s though. They're already wired for VTEC and you can go over to your uh, the plugs there under your harness over on the driver's side and you can plug these right into it. And you can wire you can wire the pins right, in, right into it or plug it in. I'm not exactly sure how it works but it's a lot easier than doing this. But this isn't bad. Look at how easy this is. This is not bad at all. So once you get all of that, button everything up wire you know tape your tape your stuff if you want to get real creative with it you can uh hink, heat sh shrink it or whatever you know um but that is the proper way of wiring your vtec if you are wiring a vtec into a car that is non-vtec unless it's 92 that is the only year that's different all right well Project Shitbox will be complete soon. I know I haven't done a video in a long time, but uh, yeah, she's uh, she's coming along. Although she's filled with crap and she doesn't have a muffler, but I got this one. It's a little thrush muffler, and uh, yeah, she's just full of crap, man. It's uh, pretty awful. But uh, still got. Project Ebony, the 92 Accord, and we still got the SI. Wait a minute. SI looks a little different. We'll get into that later. I'll, uh, I'll tell you about that little, uh, shindig later. But, uh, 
until next time, keep it Honda. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this on your favorite social media sites, and definitely tell people about it, man. So, uh, till next time, y'all keep it Honda. Peace.